You ever have one of those friends that you do everything with? Uh, we had our first apartments together. We traveled all through Europe backpacking together. We worked at Cubs. Uh, Anne was one of those friends I did everything with. And then she just stopped being able to keep up. Going out one night to see a band would land her in bed for three days. And it was, became pretty clear that she was getting sicker and sicker. And it was really painful to watch. And this went on for years and years. And then she was finally diagnosed with ME-CFS. And we knew it was devastating. But what was most devastating is that there was nothing we could do. And there was nothing she could do. Years later, just watching her spend basically the last five years of her life just laying in her bed, looking out the window. And she was unable to be in contact with humans and couldn't eat anything. And she was just, she was very, very sick. Although that's not completely typical of an ME patient, it is a story of some. And it's a story of many not being able to move, not being able to interact with other people. And all those years I kept saying, what can I do for you? How can I help you? How can I be there for you? And there was nothing I could do. And she passed two years ago. And now I've found something I can do for her. And that is be a voice for people with MECFS and be a voice for Anne. And hope that others will join us because there is hope. What we need is more advocates, and I'm an advocate. I'm happy to be an OMF ambassador because Open Medicine Foundation shares their research with others so that this research can be used to find effective treatments for people with MECFS and fibromyalgia and chronic Lyme. And I think there is hope with money and research. OMF is finding new ways and sharing information with everyone who needs it so that we can help people who suffer from these diseases. I'm Amy Carlson. I'm advocating for patients with MECFS. Log on to omf.ngo and please give generously.